I have been inspired by Jort and Nathaniel Bandy to play every Mario game. Instead of touching grass, sand, or water, I'm just gonna touch a color. And Mario's main color is red. So let's see how fast we can touch red in every game, starting with Super Mario Bros. And I have to say it, Mario's clothes do not count. That would be way too easy. Now we are all the way back on the NES, so there's not that many colors here. Thankfully though, there is a mushroom in this block, which we could count, but the object itself isn't fully red. It's more like brown with red dots on it. So instead, we can make our way all the way through the first level, head underground for the second, and find ourselves a red Koopa. Now we can just jump on him and kick his shell. Next is the Lost Levels. Uh, I'm playing on the All-Stars version. Don't worry about it. This one's a lot easier. There is a red Koopa in between some blocks right at the start. Now for the American Super Mario Bros. 2. There's not too many colors on the first screen here, except for this door, which I do think is red. But you could argue that you don't actually have to touch the red part of the door when you go through it. The only part we have to touch is the white knob. But right after, there are some red Shy Guys we can jump on. Super Mario Bros. 3 now. Surprisingly, none of these semi-solid blocks are very clearly red, but a little bit into the level, we have a nice red Koopa shell. Let's try Super Mario Land. This might be a problem, but don't worry, I do have a colored version of the game, so we can walk ahead a little bit and grab the mushroom, but again, it's not completely red. I'm just seeing a lot of pink there, so let's go a little further. But for the rest of the level, even with all this color, I can't see anything that looks red, except for these very helpful platforms right at the goal. Super Mario World. By entering Yoshi's Island 1, we can jump past a few enemies and find a block with, yet again, a mushroom. But we can do better than that. Instead, we can go to Yoshi's Island 2 and stomp on the red Koopa even faster. Super Mario Land 2. This time, we can just run forward a little bit and grab the mushroom without any problem. That's cool. Now to 3D with Super Mario 64. After we read Peach's letter, we are dropped outside of the castle. And once we run up to it, we can do Lakitu skip. Or not, because I'm not very good at this game. And then sit right on this red carpet in front of the door. Amazing. Super Mario Sunshine. Here's a game where we have to sit through a string of super long cutscenes to do anything. But thankfully, just after the first one, this pile of goop happens to be red. Well, kinda. It's more like all the warm colors, and that might even be more of a pink. There's a lot of colors here that feel very subjective, so how about this? We actually sit through all these stupidly long cutscenes, get to Delfino Plaza, and touch this chili pepper at the fruit stand. It's a little dark here, but no doubt that is red. New Super Mario Bros. We have a mushroom at the start. Apparently that's kind of just how 2D games go. So, Mario Galaxy. This one was actually way more interesting than I thought it would be. Right away, we see a red toad chilling by the castle, but that just doesn't feel right. I want a solid red object. The castle roof might be that, but when looking closely, I think these are actually more pink. It is nighttime, so it's hard to see, but the main castle roof is definitely pink here, so I don't know if I can accept it. So I decided to start up the main part of the game Game, but then there's no red for almost this entire mission, except for maybe the outline of the black hole, but that shouldn't count. After making my way completely through the stage, I went down the pipe and saw this. Red bars around the Grand Star case. Finally, we got it. New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I'm kind of getting sick of just touching mushrooms in 2D, and I can actually be original here. I'll just go a bit through the first level and fly on up to touch the red ring and the red coins. Super Mario Galaxy 2. I was hoping the sequel would be more generous with red, but no. There's nothing in the intro section that looks red at all. Even these particular star bits look rather orange. Then of course, there's the issue of the castle roofs. They look even more pink here. So we can enter the first level, and yet again, there's still nothing on this first planet that can help us. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the launch star, fly to this planet, activate the checkpoint, and touch the new new flag, which is now unarguably red. 
the Super Mario 3D Land. I'm gonna be original here. We can grab the Tanuki Leaf at the start and swipe the red Cheep Cheep just as he jumps by. New Super Mario Bros. 2. Okay, very easy. Let's jump on this platform right here. That's definitely red. New Super Mario Bros. U. There's a mushroom. Again. Man, even in this challenge, these games just can't feel unique. Now let's get away from 2D and go to Super Mario 3D World. I guess I could just slide on this red arrow, but again, that doesn't feel like enough. I decided to keep going, and then realized this first level actually does not have that much red in it. That is, until I tried going through this pipe. And what do you know, red walls everywhere. Now it's time for Super Mario Odyssey. Let's go, dude. First, we land in Cap Kingdom, which is rather dark, but color starts to appear as we head across the bridge. I thought the red door would suffice here, but actually, right in front of that, we can activate these red flowers and collect the red heart. That is what I like to see. Bowser's Fury. All we gotta do is run up to the ship and walk right across the red carpet in the middle. All before we can even get rid of Bowser a single time. And finally, Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Before we even see the Wonder Flower, there's some colored music blocks on the floor. And one of those colors, sure enough, is red. Awesome. Well, we did it. That's all the mainline games. Let me know if you enjoyed and if you want to see me do it with any other colors. There's a lot of potential for this to be a whole series. But for now, that is everything I got. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I will see you next time.